Hello guys, welcome to the Declare channel. Well, <laughs> if you're in Nigeria, you're probably suffering from the symptom called Hamatan, aka Ogoro. Yes, that is what it is. Goodness. This season is 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 not my favorite at all. Like it's it's it has never been my favorite season. But this one, like <sighs> yes. Hamatan, it is a season in Nigeria where Number one, the dust is tripled, like the kind of dust you'll be seeing, you'll be wondering where they're coming from. Okay, now, yes, we know where they're coming from, but you just wonder if, what did you do to deserve the dust that you're getting? That is one thing with Hamatan. The second one is the sun. I mean, why would the sun decide to hit me as if it hits me? Like, seriously, why? The sun is so tough. And then probably I now now dress myself and do everything, rub cream, finish, and then I'll go outside. Number one, my skin will come and dry up and start giving segments like dried clay that is beginning to break. Secondly, my shoe will become so dusty. The last shoe that I polished very well, like I sat down for 10 good minutes to polish and it's already turned to dust. Like I never, never did anything to it for the past two months. That's how bad it is. But in this video, as you can tell from the title, it is how to survive the Hamatan season. So, we're going to start with the skincare routine. Should I call it? Yeah, the skincare. Let me not put routine. The skincare routine. Okay, I said routine. Let's just go with the routine. The routine. <laughs> okay, the skincare routine to other tips I have to like survive the season. Okay, so um, first of all, what you need to know about applying cream on your skin is that if you can afford to have your normal cream and then probably the natural cream like shea butter or carrot oil or coconut oil, if you can afford to have those two separate, that would be nice because this is what we do. See how it goes. At night, you apply the natural cream. The shea butter you use it to massage yourself every part of your body so that it so that by by morning when you wake up in the morning your skin is not so dry and then when you go to have your bath in the morning you have your bath with cold water i know it sounds so 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 not good because the mornings are usually so cold and having your bath with cold water is just a recipe for disaster but you know we are tough Africans, Wakanda, we can do it. Yes, we can do it. I did it. I do it, and I'm going to do it. So you can do it too. Okay. So, <laughs> so you have your bath with cold water. Why would I say cold water? When you use hot water, it dries out the oil that is on that is on your skin. You get it dries out the oil in your skin. Even the ones that should be washed off and the ones that are protecting your skin, hot water removes it. So when you use hot water to have your bath. You can tell what happens but when you use cold water with the soap it just washes out the oil that you don't need the ones that if i say that now waste and leave the ones that need that your skin needs for protection so when that one is retained already you have already taken care of your skin and lubricated and lubricated lubricated, and lubricated it enough at night to use shea butter so what makes it easier when you now apply your normal cream that is not as creamy and buttery as the shea butter your skin will still look okay but if you feel like you need to add a bit of the shea butter in the morning you can still add a little bit of the shea butter with the cream okay why I would advise you not to like apply the shea butter in the daytime is because the sun is too harsh and it will literally fry you like if you are fair, like I don't apply because under two, under three days, I would I will literally get darker. I'll get darker. So I don't apply shea butter or any other oil on my skin when I'm going out in the day because the sun will seriously fry me. Yes, that's it. So that's it for the skincare. Okay, the next one is for the shoes. Like I would advise us for the shoes, I would advise us to invest in nude colored shoes. Or if you want black shoes, if you love black shoes like I do, get ones that are not sweat. Get ones that are just one swipe with your hanky. You can remove the dust. 
okay because it will help because you don't know where you'll be going you don't know if if the place you're going to is going to be so dusty that the sweat material will attract all the dust and will not be able to and the dust won't be able to leave unless you wash the shoe so i'd advise you to go for ones that i don't know if they i don't know like the shoe the material they call it but it's really smooth like almost should i call it porcelain i won't call it porcelain but it's usually smooth and shiny those ones that you don't have to polish okay leather shoes you can also go for leather shoes because you can always clean them don't go for sweat shoes go for any other shoe or don't go for sweat shoes because they are hard to because once dust sticks to them it's hard to get it out so um <clears throat> for the dress for the dress idea for your clothes you need to invest in clothes that cover your body very well don't go for clothes that are skimpy don't go for singlets don't go for um shorts go for clothes that cover your body very well so that your skin doesn't dry out fast and so the sun doesn't get to your skin so much okay so yeah and then <coughs> and then guys sorry <coughs> cough that's one thing that comes to hamatan your, your your throat dries up you need to seriously drink water like very frequently for you not to get cough well i have the cough so we'll get through it okay so and also in this video i'm going to be giving us like must haves when you're leaving your house during the hamatan season well it's just simply something the, the items are really things that you can pop into a very very really small purse like purses that are small as this i don't know if zooming will make it bigger or not but it's, it's literally this small and everything is inside it now and it's not even filled up so yes let me show you guys well, these are just items that you really need to be with to also go to the day without looking like a white ghost. Seriously, that bad. So yes, just basically lip gloss. Well, if you don't want to have lip gloss in your bag, if you're a guy and lip gloss will be too shiny and too girly and people will start considering your being gay or not, <laughs> you know the mentality. So you would probably want to go with chapet. Well, mine has finished, so I can't really show you with the show you like something like that. But you can get a chapet. Go to any supermarket. Go to the market. Tell them you want to buy chapet. Fine, they'll give you chapet. But if you want to go for this, you have you always have to have something that you swipe on your lips just to make your lips not get chapped, please. And like I said, it's really small. You can just pop it into the bag and you go. So secondly, that's for the leaves. Now let's get to the skin. Well, this, your hands, this place, yeah, it tends to get really dry, really dry. And so this one, it's just my cream. My cream, I put in this small cube. It's already finished. It, I don't know if you can see it yeah so this was an it was a hand sanitizer tube but it finished and i said okay why not why can't i just use this for my you know throwing cream container if that word exists if that word exists well anyways <laughs> okay yes yeah, so i put my cream inside it so that i can always pop in pop it into the purse and whenever i need it i can just put it on my skin and apply it and voila your skin is as good as new like the half the hamata never came yes believe me okay so this next one i'm going to be talking about is something that is optional well if you want to put it in your bag fine if you don't want to put it in your bag okay this one is deodorant well this one is actually a general something that you need to put in your bag because of sweating some of us sweat some of us sweat a lot and we now we now tend to like not smell really good like the smell the odor we give off is not so appealing not appealing at all so that's why we need to have deodorant in our bag <coughs> see how this one looks like i 
don't know if you can see it it's just a little deodorant well you can buy the spray but the sprays usually come in bigger bottles and it's not for the purpose of having a little throwing bag you can carry around wherever you're going so i'll advise you to get the small ones like this this one is actually non-alcoholic if you notice most deodorants antiperspirants in particular have got alcohol in them so i have this one and i love it because it does not have alcohol and it does not dry out your skin so yes it's just like a cream you apply under your armpit so that you always get to smell fresh wherever you go i'm not a fan of perfume so i usually always have this so that you know the same purpose will be achieved okay so if you also want to add perfume into your bag beautiful you smell extra fresh but don't need a lot of perfumes because you don't want bees to come and attack you because of the flowery scent you give off okay so guys that's basically all of it as you can see all these three items got into this course without any hassle yes and you can just carry it around put your phone in your purse put your handkerchief in your purse and go your way go ahead and run your activities for the day without looking white yes and without chap boots too so guys that's it for this video well give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't like if you're watching this video you should have subscribed yes and when you subscribe that bell icon that comes out there click on it to get notified anytime i post videos on youtube okay all right bye